Welcome to Marketing with Confidence. I'm your host, Marianne Amies. We're going to be talking all things digital and online marketing for business owners and marketing professionals. If you've been feeling overwhelmed by your digital marketing, be sure to listen along and you'll hear tips, interviews and more that will give you the confidence to create marketing you love. Hey there, today I am joined by Kimini Oak. She's the head of marketing for the Total Image Group, where she's been for about four years. Kimini has had a fantastic marketing career, starting out in a more traditional marketing role and then really having to increase her digital confidence to embrace the world of digital marketing and, and really shine. And over the years, she's grown into a head of marketing role that straddles both digital and traditional marketing. So I hope you enjoy this episode where she shares her journey into digital confidence. Hey, Kimini, I'm so excited to have you here today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Today, I want to talk to you about, um, as a professional marketer, you know, your journey through digital marketing. I think um, you're a bit younger than me, but like myself, I (laughs) I don't think I am. (laughs) Oh, you know, every year counts at this point. Um, I think like me, you've sort of come through the more of a traditional marketing and then had to learn to, you know, adapt to the the digital marketing world. And and I know, you know, having worked with you um, over the years, you've been on that journey of digital marketing confidence. And I think you've got, you know, you'll have some really great insights to share about how, you know, you've adapted your career and, and found your feet within digital marketing. So I want to start off by just getting you to talk about, I guess, your first marketing role and, and what that was like. Yes. Yeah, so my first marketing role straight out of uni was a marketing assistant for a lighting company. Oh, wow. Um, and I can safely say my passion was not in the lighting industry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I did, I mean, I moved in that role from marketing assistant to a product manager. So I did get to learn about go to market strategies and things like that. But digital wasn't a huge player at that time because that time was a very, very long time ago. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So when it came to, I guess, digital marketing in itself, I was mainly introduced to that when I worked for a publication slash direct mail company in the form of email marketing. Uh Um, But then after that, I moved into a home entertainment company and and that's where digital became a much bigger focus for me. Okay, fantastic. And then tell me about your current marketing role. Yes, so my current marketing role is head of marketing at Total Image Group. Yeah. Um, And I guess, as you know, some background with Total Image is it's an Australian family-owned business. It's been designing fit for purpose and fashion forward uniforms nationally since 2005. So a while now, and um, we, you know, we work with a lot of Australia's most loved brands and our key point of difference is not only our designs and the importance we place in those designs uh, for, you know, brand representation, but then also making sure that they are fit for purpose for the team when it comes to fabrics um, and the fits in themselves. But the marketing we put, we put behind it, you know, we we do amazing fashion shows yeah. that get our the staff really really excited. They wear the garments, um, and these garments would have gone through staff surveys, understanding their kind of sentiments in terms of their previous garments, and and we also do photo shoots that really, really get the team excited as well. And then from an ordering and online perspective, you know, we have a game-changing platform that we provide to our clients as well. Um, But my role within the company uh, consists of leading the team in all marketing activities and developing overall strategies for the business, namely in lead generation and CRM, as well as managing areas of social media, search, uh, PR content creation. So one of the key things, I guess, with Total Image is when it comes to marketing, we are very, very broad. Yeah. And so within the digital space, you know, I can personally manage and deal with all the, the social ads that get created, yeah. content creation, whether it's imagery, uh, videos and reels, uh, uh, blogs, yeah. Plus also managing the website and the information on there and email communications to our database and PR as well. Wow. So really you've gone, you know, when you think back to that first role, no, you know, no digital was around and really now you're across all the assets or all the facets of digital marketing. Yes, absolutely. I would say 
you know, I was fortunate enough to be exposed to a wide range of mm. digital marketing early on in my career, yeah. but it was mainly digital advertising. So yeah. it was a transition from, I guess, and you would know this as well from your history, a transition yeah. from, you know, broad reaching TV and print. Yeah. And then digital slowly becoming a focus when it came to advertising. So MREX and pre yes. yes. And then there was talk about, you know, the power of social media marketing and search. Yeah. yeah. And they definitely came, you know, became more of a, a focus, you know, at that stage. Yeah. Um, but for for Total Image, digital is a huge part yeah. of the company and the marketing that we yeah. do. Um, you know, when I first came on board, digital, there was some success and it, it yeah. definitely came from search. Yeah. But as I started in the business, you know, there was a focus to evolve and grow and become more dynamic and strategic within yeah. the digital area and all the the, the areas within that that space that we needed to play in. Yeah. Uh, you know, with um, the barriers that we did have at the very beginning, one of the key benefits was that I did have CEO Pamela Jabor yeah. on my side. She was a strong believer in the power of digital. Yeah. So with her encouragement, we were able to turn around the business from a digital B2B perspective. Yeah. Um, I guess one of the, I guess one of the key things when it came to digital and a digital skill set and improving that mm. was moving from previous roles where you're working at a more strategic level, yeah, to actually doing, a yeah, lot more. yeah, yeah. That's that's really interesting, and I think. I, you know, I've been, as I was, you know, talking to you offline, looking for candidates for roles within my own business. And I think what stands out or where you can see the difference is when someone's been hands-on, you know, when someone's been hands-on with digital, it it almost enriches their ability to be strategic. Mm -hmm. One thing to sort of create the strategy, but if you don't know the mechanics of what goes into it and what can and can't happen or, you know, what needs to happen to amplify a message best or, you know, how everything can integrate because firsthand you've gotten there and done it and you've touched it and you've tried and you've made mistakes and all those sorts of things, I think the strategy, it's then almost too blue sky because you're not you're not sure. You don't have those kind of hands-on runs on the board. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And I think, you know, for me personally, it is something that I did have to get used to when I first came to the company. Yeah. Um, because I was so used to, I guess, you, you know, using external agencies yeah. different departments yeah. to leverage their skill sets. And from a strategic level, yeah, you you know what yeah. you want and you, you know, you know what kind of objectives you're trying to achieve, and, and then you see the results and, and did they achieve them? Yes or no. Yeah. Whereas a company of this size where you are a lot more hands-on, yeah. It, is for for me personally, it is a benefit because yeah. you know exactly what you're talking about. You yeah. can play around with things and the impact that you have in the, you know, the activity mm. is immediate and you yeah. can and you can make decisions off the back of of um you know whatever levers you're pulling. Yeah. And yeah. can see the relationship that it has or whatever one piece of content or yeah. you know one activity one campaign the impact that it has on all the other areas and you can actually see that yeah so I, no. I yeah absolutely agree no and and again like I know so many professional marketers again of our vintage who talk about yeah you know having that external agency that manages everything and and then they actually don't absorb the skill set. You know, mm. they they get the training days and they kind of understand what the platforms do, but they're not actually developing the skill set. And I guess that is the benefit of small business is everybody does everything. And you know, it's amazing working for big biz. Like we've both worked for big business. Sure, there's the you know there's the perks or there's the name that you tell people and everyone knows it. But in a small business, you get to do everything, and yeah. and there's so much growth that comes from that. I absolutely agree. And and working sometimes, you know, you do experience this when you do enlist an agency who, you know, who are great, mm. but the results that come back, I'm always like, but why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. And, and, you know, sometimes I will 
say to them, like, talk to me like I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah. Please explain it to me. Yeah. Please explain these results to me. Yeah. As if I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And tell me how you would, you know, interpret this data and move it forward. Yeah. yeah. So after a while, you know, for me it was you know, making sure that I knew this so I could yeah. see and being able to be so hands-on and play around then you are yeah. able to identify yourself what is working, what's yeah. not, how you can fix it or, you know, close things off, turn yeah. things on, all of that. Yeah, no, that, and, and I think that curiosity, uh, exactly. you know, I think it's, a, it's a huge thing. I always think, you know, my mum's never been great with computers and she's, you know, she's scared to turn it on. And I said, you know, you can't break it. Just try, like, just try, turn it on, do something. Now, you know, and it's almost like that with digital marketing when you're starting out. It's like, yes. just try, just have a look, set up the ads, see what happens, change yes. something, see what, you know, so much of, you know, strategically test and measure, you know, but mm-hmm. I think also not being afraid to fail, you know, because the failing is where the learnings are as well. I, I, and, you know, it's it's funny because, even with my team, I'm the one, especially when I first started because it wasn't so hands-on, that I yeah. was the one that was afraid yeah. To, yeah. to do things. And I, I would say, what if I accidentally charged the company? Yeah. <laughs> $1,000 in something. Yes. With the, oh, the totally. click of a button. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so that took some time to be yeah. confident yeah. in just thinking, let's just play around, make sure that we've gotten all the rights. <laughs> <laughs> have a budget in place. <laughs> exactly. Make sure that's the key thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but to to play around and test. Yeah. If something doesn't work, turn it off or yeah. play play around with a portion of it, whether yeah. it's language, messaging, yeah. uh, whatever the incentive is, just something yeah. to see what impact it, it makes. Yeah, beautiful. So I guess you touched on in some ways that, not fear, but maybe trepidation when you first started out. So, you know, how did you feel about digital marketing when you first started out, you know, being exposed to it and starting to work within it? It was very unknown, I'd have to be honest. And, and, you know, get you have to get your head used to, I guess, the terminology mm. and what it all means. Yeah. It was exciting, though, because I remember it was extremely cost-effective. Yeah. And... So you could play around with different campaigns, yeah. different ads, and you could test a whole bunch of things and yeah. you have an audience that was also not very familiar. So the impact that you made was quite strong in that in yeah. that area because everyone was still learning. Um, it still is quite cost-effective. Yeah. However, you know, there are a lot more people playing in mm. this area. So, it, you know, you still have to be quite targeted and more strategic in terms of your, your approach in that respect. But, you know, it was really, really exciting because I also, you know, remember back in the day just being able to see results that you don't traditionally get in other yeah. areas. Yeah, yeah. You know, advertising like TV, viewership, print. I know. Print. You know, I- like you just... Who, who gotta rely on that. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas Correct. then when you've got digital, you could actually say, wow, these people are seeing my ad. Yeah. They're interacting with it. Yeah. You know, especially if it was something specific with a core message yeah. to do something and they do it, you can actually yeah. see that. So that was really, really exciting. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like the, the data that is available to us through digital marketing. And again, I think you have to have come through the traditional stream to really appreciate it. Yes. You know, like, because we used to, I always say, we used to spend hundreds of thousands, hundreds and thousands mm-hmm. of campaigns that we thought were probably getting eyeballed by the right people, you know. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to do massive, co- you know, cosmetic launches. It launched a new mascara for Revlon and we'd have the, the TV campaign of a couple mil. Yeah. And then you'd be like, oh, sales did go up in fact <laughs> line. So it must have been, like that, you know, but we, but who, who saw it? And, yeah, to think that now, and I know that the privacy concerns, you know, freak people out, but it is all non-identi- you know, personally identifying information. But to know, to be able to say, I only want to show my ad to 35 mm-hmm. to 55-year-old women who are interested in gardening, like that's massive. Exactly. That's massive compared to what, and then to actually be able to look later and say, well, which women in that age group resonated, clicked, bought, 
it's it's huge. You know, I think if you're a bit of a data geek, which I, I do love my data, I think mm-hmm. you're the same. Yeah. Like it's it's fascinating and it's so it, it's interesting, I guess, in your lifetime to go through it and see that see that change. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And it, it, even for the other side, you were talking about the privacy. It's like if I'm a 25 to 35 yeah. old gardener, <laughs> I want to be Bring it on. gardening thing, you know, so that's true. That's yeah, the that's benefit true. there. Oh, I know. It's like, do you ever, um, you know, like you want to buy, say like Father's Day is coming up, want to buy something for my husband. Just go and do one little I search that. on the thing yes. and then just wait for the answer. Serve me. Serve me <laughs> everything I need. You don't make me Google it. I no. see. Remarket me. <laughs> exactly. I, I've seen I've seen an ad and then it's disappeared. And then so I've looked up like green dress. <laughs> like, you know, and I'm just waiting for that ad to come back to me. <laughs> Fishing for it. Send me that ad you sent me before. I know. And that's the thing. I like. I don't know if it's because we're in digital, but I'm all for it. I'm all for give me a customized experience just for me. Yes. Help me. Save me time. Yes, I did just happen to say near my phone yesterday that I needed to get a book week costume. Serve me those books. Please. <laughs> I am time poor. Yeah, it's true. So yeah, and and again, like what did we all do with TV when the ads were on? We left the room. Exactly. Yeah, we went to the that toilet. Was your toilet break. Yeah, yeah, we got the snacks. We, you know, we we did all that stuff. So because it didn't interest us. So, you know, if the if the marketing can become more tailored to exactly what we want, isn't that less noise for us as well? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I don't often think of it from that side. Like I think of it from the marketing side, but you're right. For the consumer, there is a benefit to getting more customized ads and more customized content because it's more of what you want. I love it. So what has been your biggest challenge, I guess, adapting to digital as part of your skill set? You know, the biggest challenge has been the transition, I guess, to a different type of digital marketing in this instance with Total Image being a B2B company. Yeah. So, you know, being introduced to digital marketing earlier on as more of a consumer offering, a consumer company. Yeah. And transitioning the traditional type of advertising to a digital space, you know, it it, it took a lot of getting used to, but I think it was a lot simpler at that time. And then coming into Total Image, who is a B2B company and you're trying to do a lot more uh, digital marketing for a B2B industry, I guess. Yeah. Um, It was just trying to understand what is going to be most effective, especially when it comes to a lot of the digital space being a lot more consumer focused and BSC focused. You know, for us, do we, were we meant to utilize SEO, paid, social? When it comes to social, what are we using? Are we using Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn? Like what, what's going to be of yeah. Better for what's going to be most effective. Um, you know, who are we targeting? What stage are they in? Yeah. You know, we had to carry out a lot of strategic workshops in the beginning to talk about understanding our audience, especially mm-hmm. the company itself with such a wide variety of verticals. You know, who are we talking to? Who are the key decision makers? What kind of messaging and, you know, information are we passing yeah. through to them to get them to engage or keep us top of mind yeah. at that particular stage. Yeah. So, yeah, transitioning to a, a B2B yeah. digital marketing kind of mindset was a challenge yeah. at the very beginning. And and given that there are so many ways that we can work with it, you know, it was just something that we had to get our yeah. heads around as well. Oh, totally. I mean, around as well. yeah, B2B does have its own unique challenges in the digital space because... Yeah. Obviously, the the decision makers aren't always going to be looking for those solutions in their, mm-hmm. you know, their leisure time. So their yep. digital marketing, you know, their their Instagram scrolling or their, you know, their Facebook checking. They're not always open to those business related messages. Obviously, LinkedIn is an amazing platform, but again, you know, as an employee. If you're the the head of marketing or you're the head of HR or operations, you might not be on LinkedIn all the time, exactly. you know, as a, as an employee. So I agree, like it it is, 
it is still a trickier space. Mm -hmm. um, that all the digital opportunities aren't as straightforward as with consumer marketing. Exactly. And then also from, from Total Image and also B2B, mm -hmm. whilst digital does move very fast, the industry is slow. Yes. So there are longer lead times. Yeah. So the need to nurture leads for longer periods, yeah. you know, to encourage that interest and, and staying top of mind and, and for them to, you know, they might see the activity that we're doing, but at yeah. that stage yeah. you know, may not be interested or, you know, might not be in the market for it, but then they yeah. know that if they want to search for us that they can find us yeah. because they know our name. You know, that's something that. Yeah. To, you Which know, is mindful. hard to quantify as well, you know, that impact that you're having because it's a long-term brand awareness and seeking mm -hmm. and nurturing to, you know, to be in the right place, right place at the right time for them to, you know, have that conversation. We need to update our uniforms and then someone go, oh, I know yes. pieces that we should use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so what's been your biggest learning? Uh, my biggest learning, I think, you know, specifically um, coming from, as we've talked about, bigger brands, yeah. you know, utilising, leveraging different departments and different agencies and working from a more strategic level, my yeah. biggest learning has definitely been doing yeah, and, and you know, really getting involved and, and playing around with things and not being afraid to break something. Yeah, yeah That's been totally. a huge thing. Um, so, you know, a company this size with Total Image, you know, you have so much more opportunity to kind of yeah. rewrite the rules and have more impact. Yeah. So the biggest learning for me has been to kind of action things and be confident yeah. in doing that yeah. and not being afraid that if something goes wrong, it's it's not the end of the world. Yeah. And we can rectify it as long as budgets have been as long as you haven't spent that 100000 on the company. Exactly. Credit card. exactly. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, I'm, obviously we manage ads for so many different clients and that's one of my biggest fears as well. You know, what if something happens and we, we you know, spend, create, you know, don't yeah. turn off a thing or, you know, but I guess it's uh, when you worry about it, you check it and you check it. Exactly. <laughs> and how do you feel about digital marketing now? It's such an important piece of our business. Yeah. Honestly, it continues to be such a focus for us and, and we're still learning and trying to test and, and, and get insights, you know, daily with, yeah. with our activity. Um, the way, I mean, I love it. So, the, you know, the ability to be able to strategically target your audience, yeah. to identify effectiveness, to move them through the funnel is something that's hugely important for our business. And, and like you were talking about before, data, I'm a data yeah. nerd as well. I always <laughs> understand what things mean. So yeah. the fact that you can do that is, um, you know, it's something that's a huge positive when it comes to digital yeah. marketing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, the da I mean, the access to data is, is huge. And I think also... Like I know my early marketing career, we were always accused of being fluff. You know, you went yeah. into marketing and you were sort of like, oh, what a lovely fluffy job and all oh, the long lunches. And yes. I mean, the lunches were good when we- They were them. good. They were really good. I, I, you know, I'm not, I want the long lunches, but, you know, we were, we were accused of, you know, no ROI, what, you know, what mm. impact have you had? And I guess if digital marketing has given us anything, it's access to data to actually show, you know, we did A and, and then B happen, you know, whether it's eyeballs or whether it's conversions or dollars, you know, we are able now to substantiate so much more. And, and I think marketing's really evolved, you know, I mean, I know I, I hear it from marketing, like team members will talk, oh, I'm not good at maths, I'm not good at numbers kind of think with marketing now you have to be mm -hmm. you have to be able to analyze data and and read you know statistics and read and 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 draw insight from that information so I think that that fluffy um reputation that marketing has always had it, it's moved on mm -hmm. I absolutely agree and I think it's such a it's a, such a great time when it comes to mm. digital marketing now because like you were saying being able to measure yeah. your activity and and actually put a number to the results and say yeah. we did this yeah this is what it generated these are the say for example these are the leads that have come through yeah. from these areas 
you know, we can then say this piece of content has generated this amount of interest and has resulted in, you know, X amount of leads that have come through from this particular industry. Yeah. You know, being able to actually see that and prove what's working and even what's not. So sometimes things not working is a great learning piece as well because then you say, okay, we gave it a go. It doesn't work that element doesn't work fine we switch that off and we move in this direction yeah it's great and and the ability to be able to do it though and and be so quick to implement yeah and change things up is is it's also really really exciting and it's something you know that means that you kind of are able to do a lot more and not have to wait for things to happen yeah and you can be nimble and in small business you know that's critical as well that that nimble you know being able to shift really fast and change that direction based on the insights of that data puts you miles ahead of you know other businesses especially larger businesses where things have to go through so many levels of approval and so you know obviously you work for an amazing CEO and through that you've got that ability to feed up that data get those quick decisions and and move Mm -hmm. and so I guess what's your one piece of advice for anyone looking to increase their digital marketing confidence so my one piece of advice would be to continue and grow and get your hands dirty. So yeah. like, I mean, I have said it throughout, but my way of learning is by doing in a company of this size, yeah. you kind of have to, but <laughs> it's it's fun. You, you know, it's exciting to be able to do things and pull levers and see immediate results. But secondary to that would be to constantly learn by signing up and doing courses, attending yeah. workshops. You know, I think you you always need to be proactive in wanting to learn. And, you know, if you are in a, an organisation similar to Total Image, mm. you can get some key takeouts and be able to implement them straight away into your strategy and see yeah. if they work or not. And so it's not, you know, taking something that you've learned and kind of putting it into a campaign that's a year away. You can, yeah. you can include it in now. So, yeah, definitely getting your hands dirty. Yeah. Definitely always growing in terms of, you know, learning what's actually happening in the digital space because it's constantly evolving. It's constantly yeah. changing. Yeah. Men love to do things, right? Yeah. They're always. <laughs> when you, Keep when it you on our toes. In, exactly. So, you know, if you want to know, then you need to seek out that information. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I think that's, I think that's fantastic advice. And I think, approaching it with that curiosity you know always learning always growing is is so critical and I guess knowing that it was new for everyone once Mm -hmm. like like any skill set and often you know the biggest thing holding you back is your own is your own mindset you know being being worried or or thinking you can't do it or thinking it's too hard or too different but we've all been on that journey and we're as we said before we're constantly on that journey there's always something new to learn (laughs) There's always some curveball thrown. Yeah, yeah, some new change that we what have to do. What does it mean? To. Oh, I know, I know. But I guess that's what keeps it interesting as well. Okay. You know, it's not, I mean, TV, radio, newspaper, they were the same mm-hmm. for 20 years. Um, and, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fascinating. But, look, thank you so much for your time and, and sharing your story and obviously where you are now, you, you know, your digital confidence is, has increased over and over from where you were before. And um, I think, yeah, I just think it's fantastic to, you know, see somebody embrace that and then have such an amazing career journey. So thank you for your time and and sharing your story. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Hey, thanks for listening to another episode. If you don't want to miss one, make sure you subscribe to the show in your podcast app. And if you love it, Be sure to share it with friends and colleagues who you think could benefit from increasing their digital marketing confidence. Want more? Head to MarianneAmys.com to find out how you can work with me directly, to reach out to have me speak at your event, or to grab yourself some free resources.